Hi, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so it's time for the Northern Roundup. Um, so June. <laughs> June has been an interesting month. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on in work, so I've been very focused on uh, sorting stuff there um and then in general <laughs> uh, it's been kind of in a different sort of month so um for most of it where the weather has sort of been very sort of level and stable and nice and sort of sunny and warm uh my jaw hasn't been so bad but the last week or so as the weather has taken a bit of a turn my jaw has started playing up again, so yes, I can definitely say that the weather affects how bad my jaw is. Um, I would like to say that was the reason why I didn't bother doing a vlog last week, but um, no, not doing a vlog last week was more to do with not really being able to focus on anything that I wanted to talk about, um, so not being like happy with anything that I was recording. Um, and, and some of that had to do with the important thing for work that sort of fell in the kind of the midweek bit. So because my head was sort of rare, uh, because of like where my days off were, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to draw a line under it and not worry about it. I've given myself permission not to have to do this every single week. Um, and, I'm, you know, it doesn't always have to be because I'm not feeling particularly well. Sometimes it's just going to be, I think, because I can't think of anything worth talking about. And as I said, when my jaw's playing up anyway, it's not always the, like, the best thing to actually sit down and talk. And my jaw is actually quite bad now. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so other things that I've managed to do this month. Um, I managed to, to go hang out with a friend. Um one day last week we actually went out for a nice very nice pleasant walk um and some food and stuff so that was quite nice uh that broke things up a little bit um and then this weekend uh it was my nephew and my stepbrother's missus um birthday so I went out with them and that, that broke up the week a little bit so actually last week ended up being a very active week um which sort of helped with like like the work stuff that was going on like the work stuff that was going on wasn't necessarily overly stressful for me it was just one of those things where um because it you know i it was important to get it right and you know i was playing a slightly bigger role behind the scenes than i would normally um it just sort of felt like i like my that's where my focus was so everything else was kind of like yeah i'm not not going to worry about vlogging this week it's not the most important thing in the world um so another thing that i've actually done this month is i've bought myself some shorts <laughs> not just the pair that i'm wearing although i am definitely wearing a pair of shorts today i now have three pairs of shorts um it sounds like a really weird thing to sort of like brag about i previously had a pair of shorts um which i still do have um but they're like very very short shorts and very very feminine shorts whereas the shorts i have now are more masculine shorts and a little bit longer and feel a lot better and more comfortable to wear than um, the more feminine shorts uh, ever sort of really did um, so yeah I'm, I'm really happy with that and um, I've actually sort of so far this year I've made a lot of progress in being able to go into a clothes sh shop and look around and see things that I like and actually buy them. Um, it has helped that I've had gift out like um, for Christmas and for my birthday this year, I was given a lot of gift vouchers specifically to help me buy clothes uh, because replacing your wardrobe or updating your wardrobe can be very expensive. It is like a huge part of the reason why after I lost like five and a half stone, um, I just accepted my mum's hand-me-downs and didn't worry too much that like a part of the reason I lost my own style um, was more down to the fact that I was very stressed at the idea of going clothes shopping. Clothes shopping is also very expensive. It's really expensive to update or change your wardrobe for any reason. Um, so yeah, a, a huge part of the reason why 
most of my wardrobe for a good few years was my mum's hand-me-downs was you know to do with like clothes shopping anxiety that I have in general anyway um, and the fact that it's very expensive so I was like you know what I really need to actually update my wardrobe in ways that make me more comfortable so that I'm wearing stuff that I actually like wearing and I'm actually excited to wear um, and I'm not just buying online because you can't always guarantee the quality when you're buying online so I was like you know what just give me some gift vouchers that will force me to sort of go and do that and yeah I will admit I have used like little bits of those gift vouchers for buying myself food as well <laughs> Like, I'll, I'll treat myself for, like, a little lunch, um, because I can also use it in some way that I can get myself, treat myself for a little bit of lunch, um, once a week. But it's kind of like, you know what, <laughs> there, there, you know, at this point, mine's sort of do what, what I will with. Um, and I have managed to get quite a few items of clothing, um, uh, so... At the beginning of the year, I picked up a couple of pairs of trousers, um, and then I didn't pick up anything for a little while because I was deliberately waiting for all summer stuff. Um, and this month, I've managed to get uh, three t-shirts, which are all tie-dye t-shirts, because teenage me loves the tie-dye, and like one of the things they 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 sort of like say is. Um, you know, it's, it's good to wear things that your teenage self would have always dreamed of wearing. And yeah, I did own a little bit of tie-dye stuff. Some of it was like self-tie-dyed uh, when I was a teenager. The fact that like, as soon as I saw like this tie-dye stuff, I was like, I have to have it. I like 100% that's me. That's what I want. Um, so I picked up uh, three t-shirts, which are all tie-dye ones. Pro uh, I would say you've probably seen them, seen at least one of them. I think I filmed in at least one of them. Um... And then I've also picked up three pairs of shorts. One of those pairs of shorts is matches one of the tie dye t-shirts. And like the first time I wore that pair of shorts, I wore a matching t-shirt and I was like, I don't care how this looks. This makes me happy. This makes me very happy and I love the way this looks. And I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily gonna pair them together every single time, but I'm definitely gonna pair them together again because it like it made me really happy to sort of like have that sort of like matching kind of ensemble and, and again I did like matching clothing when I was younger I did like things that obviously were supposed to go together and sort of form a set and it's like again I'm, I'm kind of dressing in ways that would have made teenage me happy um and definitely make adult me happy and that's you know that's the important thing um so yeah I picked up two other pairs of shorts like the red pair that I'm wearing today um, and then there's also a blue pair that is the same style as this. Um, the blue pair is medium and the red pair were also supposed to be medium. I only realised this morning that they were large. Um, they were on the medium hanger and I was sure that I'd like check, double check the label to make sure I picked up the right one because I usually do because I know like things quite often get put back on the wrong hangers. Um, but apparently I didn't and apparently these ones are large but it, it's fine. They're, they're a little bit baggier than the other ones would, uh, than the other ones are but they fit. Like the the advantage slash disadvantage of having wide hips is that actually my hips are still wider than they are so <laughs> than the trousers are so it all kind of just about works out um, it just means it's like I have to sort of like pull it in a little bit more than I would otherwise but now apart from that you know they, they, they fit they're fine like I don't worry too much if it's like if it's going to be a little bit baggier it just means it's a little bit baggy when I'm wearing it it's fine it doesn't bother me too much um I also, I also picked up my first pair of swimming trunks. I like it, the first pair of swimming trunks that I bought to be swimming trunks. It's not the first pair of swimming trunks that I have owned. Um, so I can't remember the exact reasoning. I think we went on holiday once and I'd forgotten my swimming stuff, or my swimming stuff had not been packed for whatever reason, um, and I ended up borrowing a spare pair of my brother's trunks and pairing it with a t-shirt or something so that I could sort of like do whatever swimming thing that it was that we were doing. Um, they were a very faded pair of swimming trunks and I know that I ended up owning them for a while as shorts. Um, it was only like a brief amount of time, I can't remember exactly. 
I think they did have, like eventually disappear, but I know they were definitely in my wardrobe for a little while. <laughs> So I definitely use them as swimming trunks um, at least once or twice and I definitely had them like as part of my stuff for, for a while so this is not the first pair of swimming trunks that I have owned uh, but it is the first pair of swimming trunks that I have bought for myself to be swimming trunks. Um, my plan is to pair it with uh, one of my binders. Um, I know you have to be a little bit careful swimming in a binder but I'm not going to be swimming in a binder I'm going to be playing in the water because I don't swim <laughs> um I do know um I will have to be careful which binder that is that I use with it because water can make binders shrink but I tend to have a lot of excess room in my binders anyway because the difference between my bust and my rib cage is enough to sort of compensate a little bit but yeah I'm going to be careful the first time and then sort of like see how it goes from there um I do have my larger binders still if I you know feel that that, that would be uh, a better choice post the first time the first time I'm just going to use like the ones that fit me properly um and see how I get on with that because again I'm not going to be swimming <laughs> like if I was like if I bought them to actually swim that would be different but i don't swim like i play in the water i don't swim um yeah i i'm a very weak swimmer um, <laughs> um i would argue that i cannot swim well enough to save my own life and that has been put to the test and yeah i did almost drown once so i know full well that i'm not the best swimmer in the world um i don't really enjoy swimming. I find it very tiring and that is to do with paddle mobility. Um, it's, it's the same as riding a bike. Like I find riding a bike very tiring. These are both things that I can technically do. I can technically swim. I can technically ride a bike. But they're things that I find very tiring. So they're things I'm not very good at. They, they like I I'm not a strong swimmer and I'm not a strong cyclist, so the, this is why I avoid these things because, like, you know, why why would I force myself to do things that I'm not very good at? Um, however, I do enjoy having the opportunity of playing in the water and like um, water parks. Um, are, like, I, I've been to water parks. I haven't been to a water park in years, but. Um, I know I want to have the ability at a moment's notice to be able to, to go to a water park or go to the beach or something like that where it's you're going somewhere where it's going to be like playing in the water rather than somewhere where you're going to be swimming because <laughs> if somebody's going hey, we're going to go swimming I'm like don't swim I'm going to splash in the water but I won't swim <laughs> um, so I'm kind of looking forward to uh, having my first opportunity to actually uh, use them. Like if and again, if it's like the beach or a water park, I'm gonna have an old t-shirt on over top anyway. So like pairing it with a binder isn't gonna make too much of a difference. Um, no one's ne necessarily going to know because like British weather, it's unlikely that it's going to be warm enough for anything else especially with like the temperature that our waters go to um so yeah it that for me that felt like a good like and, and, and again it's one of those things where i've been putting off buying the swimming trunks for a little while because although i'm getting much better at going in and buying clothes i'm not trying them on before i buy them and that's a bit risky when you're buying with a voucher um I mean, I think I would be able to like exchange it for a bigger size, um, if needs be. Um, but it, it's a bit risky when you're buying with a voucher to um, not try it on first. Um, that was why I bought the first pair of shorts because I was like, okay, this should in theory fit, um, and they do. But I was also like, they're a little bit smaller than I would like. Like they're a little bit tighter than I would like, which is why I went up a size for buying, well, I'm supposed to just go up a size for buying the other pair, <laughs> um, or the other two pairs of shorts. And I got some trunks at the same time, which are the same size as the medium ones that I picked up, so like, 
Yeah, it, 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 it's one of those things where it's kind of like I sort of spotted the swimming trunks and I'd been working up the courage to buy myself the, the swimming trunks because I was like, I really want them. Um, I, I like the colouring of them. Um, and it, it, yeah, it, it, it's weird. Because I know I've never really been a huge fan of swimming costumes. Um, I know... I want, always sort of like wanted a two piece or once preferred like the two piece swimming costume to the one piece swimming costume. Um, mostly because I don't like, I, I did bat and turning as a kid. I know if you're wearing a one piece leotard or swimsuit that you have to take it all off in order to go to the bathroom. Um, so the, like my primary reason for wanting the two piece also that I wouldn't have to take everything off in order to go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, and then, then, you know, that's fair enough. Um, and it wasn't, and it was never anything to do with, oh, it, like the two pieces are like better or they're sexier or anything like that. That was never my, my thinking about it. It was just like, this is easier for me if I can like pull down just the bottom part of it in order to go to the bathroom. That was like my primary concern. That's why I wanted the two piece. Um, but like I've never really liked either the one piece or the two piece. Um, like the Tycoonies have never been like like of everything they were like my preferred um, style because sort of like a longer top um, for the for the two piece and, and stuff like that. But I was never like oh yeah I really like this style I really like this style it's just like well this is what I'm supposed to wear these are the things that are on offer to me um so I have to choose something within this and like even after I lost the weight initially the holiday that I went on for that when I was buying a swimming costume for that I was like yeah I guess I like this swimming costume I guess it'll do I guess it's fine but it was never kind of like oh yeah I really really like this this is like what I'm comfortable wearing it's just a case of yeah I guess this will do um more than anything else and you know especially because I was always very self-conscious and I'm still very self-conscious about like my chest and stuff yeah it was just one of those things where it's like yeah okay yeah we'll, we'll go for this this is fine this will do um rather than oh yeah, walking in and this is exactly what I want to wear and it's kind of like, like it very much fell into a lot of the the ways of thinking that I've, I've had previously about clothes and the way that I've kind of gotten around a lot of the clothes shopping um, with my, my anxieties for clothes shopping is that, oh, I'm focused on the idea of, okay, I need to go in and I need to buy this specific thing and I will find the version of this specific thing that I feel is the most appropriate for me um, rather than going in and seeing something and going, oh, I really like that, I want that. And that's kind of the difference that I've found definitely this month. Uh, when I've been going in and I've been going, okay, I'm looking for, I'm, I'm not necessarily looking for anything specific, I just want to go in, I just want to see what there is, um, and, I've, and I've just been like going in with a very sort of like open mind, yeah, okay, the, the second time I went in I was very focused on getting shorts and I knew I eventually wanted to take myself off a pair of swimming trunks and I, I, I'd seen these swimming trunks and I, I knew I liked these swimming trunks, it's just working up the courage to buy the swimming trunks. Um, but very much a case this month of sort of going in and not having any expectations and not having any set plans and just seeing what there is um and then sort of like sporting the t-shirts right away and going oh i really like that and just getting them. and i know it's like for most people that's like oh but that's just what you do when you go clothes shopping and i'm like yeah, maybe it's what you do when you go clothes shopping. Maybe you can go clothes shopping without any real sort of plan. Maybe you can just like look at clothes and not feel really anxious about what you're supposed to like and what you're supposed to be looking at and what you actually like and what you would rather be looking at or anything like that. But like nine times out of ten, and then and again, bear in mind that I did lose a lot of weight at one point, so I did need to like 
there is a reason I just accepted my mum's hand-me-downs rather than go in and buy clothes is because I would go into that store going, okay, well, I need tops, I need trousers, uh, you know, I basically need to replace my entire wardrobe because losing five and a half stone is a lot of weight and it drops you down a lot of uh, clothes sizes. Um, but I, I would go in and I hated everything. Like, I would roll my eyes at everything. I would just, like, walk around and kind of go, I don't like any of this. Like, and, and it would be weird because I would, like, see stuff on, like, the mannequins and go, oh, yeah, that looks quite nice. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go in. And as soon as I sort of, like, went in and started actually, like, walking around the women's section, I'd be like, I don't like any of this. None of this is me. I don't, like... And then I'd walk back out again. It was getting to the point where I'd literally walk in and walk out without actually looking at anything, without actually sort of even trying. Whereas now, because I'm sort of like going in and just taking a slightly different route, and instantly I'm spotting things. I'm like, oh, actually, I would wear that. Or, oh, I like the colours on that. Or, oh, actually, let's have a closer look at this. And it is. It's a much more freeing mindset than the one that I used to have. And it's. Um, a much better place for me to be mentally with clothing and yeah that's definitely a good way of kind of summing up my June and I know it seems weird because like lots of other stuff sort of happened but I fixated on clothing um, but yeah I, I would definitely say that, that June has been that kind of month where okay it didn't get off necessarily to the best start um, in terms of like buying clothes because I think the first time I went in I walked straight back. Well, I went in, I spotted like three things that I really liked, and then I left. And I was like, I got like two, three steps away. I went, Why am I leaving? I really like those things, and I've got the vouchers to pay for them. And I went back and I bought them, and, and that kind of. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's, it feels. It feels like I've made progress in dealing with my clothing anxieties. So yeah, that's that's good. That's that's a thing. That's a positive. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, so I get that I haven't necessarily summed up June in the best possible way, um, but I guess this is the best way for me to sum up June. Um, I hope you have found this one sort of interesting. I hope you are looking forward to whatever it is I'm going to be talking about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.